Well, let me start with a common perspective of, uh, of big data professionals. And that is, life is a batch. But it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, we're entering a new era, an era of real time. And real time is at the foundation of some transformational applications. But before I get into those examples, let's make sure we're clear on what's real time. Is real time a query response in less than 20 milliseconds? Well, what if the data is one month old? Is it continuous data ingest? Well, what if the, the application is run at the end of each week? Or what about an online database operation that completes in 30, 30 seconds? The reality is that real time is required across the entire process. It's from the time data is collected until a business action is taken that's important. And if we can compress that, it can form the foundation for some truly transformational applications. Let me give you some examples of, of what those are. These high frequency decisioning applications make small adjustments, automated adjustments to impact the top line, to reduce costs or to mitigate risks. Companies like Altitude Digital, it's one of the fastest growing video advertising platforms in the industry. They do 7 billion transactions a day. And it's about delivering the right video to the right person at the right time. Baptist Healthcare is a $2 billion hospital chain headquartered in Florida. They're moving to an event-based platform that combines patient data in real time and medical history to improve patient care. Companies are reducing costs, like a global semiconductor that's optimizing yield management, taking real-time machine sensors, vibration, heat, and better understanding quality issues much faster and what are the corrective, answer, uh, corrective actions that need to be taken. National Oil Well Varco, NOV, is a $23 billion multinational, one of the leading providers of of oil equipment, components, and services, and they're using our real-time analytics to optimize the drill and production process for oil and gas. There are many examples in security. One of my favorite is American Express. They're protecting over a trillion dollars in annual charge volume. When you swipe an American Express card any place in the world, they're making a decision in less than two milliseconds, is this fraudulent or not? So I could go on and on across industries and talk about you know, these different impactful applications. And whether you call them high frequency decisioning or operational agility or the algorithmic business, it's not really important. What's important are these real time transformational applications. So the question is, how do we enable these? And it requires a different approach. The traditional approach is that we start with the application and it dictates the data, the specialized data model or schema. We have to extract and transform and prepare special cubes. It can drive administrators to drink. And each of these applications has their own dedicated silo and you result, the result is a proliferation of these silos. The average company has hundreds of data silos throughout their organization Gartner points to this and calls it the biggest challenge for data management in organizations. And each of that represents a delay in the process. So the promise of big data is to centralize this into a data lake and bring the processing to the data. And that's what we've seen with Hadoop. It's, it's, a, it's a great promise, but the growing complexity of big data we're actually seeing the separation of data into specialized clusters, a cluster for ingest, a cluster for streaming analytics, a cluster for database operations, another cluster for deep analytics. And we're starting to repeat the same silos. So to enable these real-time applications, these transformational apps, you need to focus on two areas. The first is a converged data platform to eliminate those silos, to have 
all of the data available for a wide variety of manipulations for the applications. And that data, every data there is a first class citizen, structured and unstructured, data in motion and data at rest. And when it comes to data in motion, that represents the second major factor to focus on. And that is event-based data flows. So those can be web events or machine sensors or biometric, et cetera. And understanding those operational agility and driving operational agility is being able to analyze and understand these flows in context. And that context is informed by the, the trends, the patterns that you see in the, in, in the data at rest. So data in motion and data in rest have to work closely together. They're not fundamentally different. They're not fundamentally separate. In fact, we tend to talk about big data and marvel at the volume and variety of that data and look at it in its aggregate at rest. The reality is, it was typically generated one event at a time. Whether that's mobile and social interaction or machine generated content or customer transactions. And harnessing those data flows and understanding is a building block for applications. These applications could be machine, gen, uh, machine sensors that help us understand and predict failures or all the, the social and customer information to, to make better offers for customers, or on the transaction side to identify fraud before it happens. So an excellent example of this is liaison technology. Their focus was how do they simplify and speed the flow of healthcare information for their customers. And their answer was a converged platform and taking the, the electronic medical record and creating a stream for that. And the stream itself is a system of record. And the publish and subscribe paradigm serves their customers, the, the hospitals, the clinics, the patients, the physicians, the payers. And they're informed in real time when updates are happening. And their applications consume that data in the format that makes sense, whether that's a table for a database operation or an index for a search function. The result was a, a simplified process, much faster real-time applications with integrated security to protect the privacy and fulfill HIPAA compliance. So if we look at the winners, the winners will not necessarily be the companies with the most data. It'll be the companies that can demonstrate the most data agility. And the key to that is number one, converged data. And number two, the converged processing which includes these event-based flows. So in 10 minutes, it's very difficult to, uh, to provide a lot of detail. But we do have some complimentary books that perhaps will provide you the detail that you're after. And it includes the first availability of O'Reilly's streaming architecture book, where you can also get it signed by the authors, Ted Dunning and Ellen Friedman. So I appreciate your time, and I guess my wish for, for all of you is when it comes to big data, I hope you get real. Thank you. <laughs>